Hello everyone, I am Boo Boo. After our previous testing of Qianwen Image 2512, you should know this model is great at semantic understanding and it has excellent control over details. Today I bring you the Qianwen Image 2512 workflow focusing on image remixing and in-painting. First, let us look at our cases. Left is the image found on the internet. Right is the image generated by Qianwen. You can see Qianwen performs very well, especially in portrait and lighting aspects. The feature of image remixing is maintaining the original style while generating a completely new image, and this image has no copyright issues. We can use it as material in any legal scenario. Back to this picture, the original image has a set design, but the background plans lack depth layers. The plans from Tailwind have rich layering combined with the backlight from the window. The protagonist is naturally highlighted, and I really like this rim light on the hair. It plays a decorative role and is controlled just right in other details. Tianwen also restored the original clothing elements. Well, like the embroidery on the clothes. The texture effect is very good, including the texture on the fan, which fits the theme. But we can also see that both hands are broken. We will fix this with the next workflow. I will talk about that later. Let us look at the next case. The original is a landscape photo. Sometimes we just need some pure background assets, but we cannot find clean ones. This case highlights Qianwen's ability very well compared to the original regular road surface. The distant mountain scenery is more majestic. There is also a contrast of light and dark. The overall aesthetic is a level above the original. Sometimes for work requirements, generating a picture is much faster than finding stock footage that perfectly fits your needs. The next case is a doll. When e-commerce designers look for inspiration, they often need this kind of creative assistance, like the one on the left. The original lighting is simple and the texture is stiff through Qianwen remixing. While not changing the original dough structure, it improved the texture of the overall material and also perfected more details. However, what is surprising is Qianwen also understands recursive relationships. The original image actually had another small doll. Qianwen directly generated a scaled down doll here. I really like this idea. The next group is also a landscape picture. This group mainly shows the upper limit of the model capability. I ran it three times using different samplers and schedulers. When looking at the large image, the whole thing is fine. The sense of layering is strong. The ripples on the water are also lifelike. But if you zoom in, you will find details in many places are broken. Now let us see what our workflow looks like. I have uploaded today's workflows to Running Hub. You can get 1,000 free RH coins by registering through my link. You also get 100 points for logging in daily. And the workflows are free to download. Come and take a look. My workflows, my consistent style. Upload the reference image here, and here is the generated image. This part uses the Chamber's 3VL model to reverse engineer the uploaded image. Then you can see the output prompts here. Also, please pay attention to this part. I added a function here. When you input zero here, it directly uses the prompts from Chamber 3VL. If you feel the auto prompts do not meet your requirements and you need to modify them manually, you can copy the prompts to this box then make your modifications and uh, set the number here to 1. At this time, the workflow will use your manual input to generate the image. Below is our flagship model, Qianwen 2512. I am using the Prune FP8 version. You can also choose the original version. Then here, I connected an acceleration LoRa and two LoRa's for improving image quality. This block is for depth control. And here is the K sampler, followed by a seed VR2 for upscaling to increase the details. Next, let us look at the in-paint workflow. By the way, there is only a text box here. Click the link to download the corresponding models. Here is the drive link. If it does not work, you can click the hugging face link. Let us look at the cases first. This is an image we used before. The original image looked like this. I masked the clothes part and asked it to change to a black evening gown paired with purple stockings. First, since this is mask mode, there is definitely no pixel drift issue. Then the new clothing matches the character theme, well, including the accessory texture and color on the clothes. What stands out is this position. First, the posture changed. This can be recovered by re-rolling a few times. Then I deliberately chose purple, which is prominent. The purpose was to see the fusion degree with the image. The final lighting texture, actually, I think it is acceptable. Of course, changing to a matching color would be better. Here is the effect after upscaling. You can see the skin details are restored. Here is also clearly visible. The texture on the clothes is handled well. Seed VR2 is really a handy upscaling model. Next, let us look at the problem we left earlier, fixing the hands. The hands are now perfectly fixed. 
the restoration is very natural and the joints of the hands are seamless. But if you look closely, there are some pattern issues on the chair. The hand here is also fixed well, but this part of the fan is exposed. I should have redrawn the whole stick together. Let us look at the next one, which I found quite surprising. Here, I added Qianwen 2512 text to the doll hat. You can see the model automatically added a small flower. This embroidery perfectly matches my expectations. The texture of the gold stitching, the perfect fusion of light and shadow, the embellishment of the small flower. After upscaling, the texture is further improved. Even when observing at maximum zoom, it is flawless. The sense of depth and stitching texture are all there. Okay, let us look at the next group. This is a snow scene we just got through remixing. Then I plan to let a group of penguins play here. And then I got this picture. You can see the little penguins integrated perfectly into the scene without feeling abrupt. This is what I mean. When you are looking for assets but cannot find suitable ones, this editing method is part of improving our efficiency. The last case is modifying the yacht, changing the rescue boat behind the cruise ship to a rubber dock. It is simply too cute. Zooming in, you can see this dock is not simply pasted on, but has physical simulation attributes. Look at this circle of ripples pressed by the duck. It is consistent with the ship body. Look at the highlight position on the duck again. It merges perfectly with the scene lighting in the field of e-commerce and realizing designer creativity. The ability of Tianwen 2512 is unquestionable. While Z image has not announced an edit model yet, and Flux has relatively high hardware requirements, Tianwen 2512 shows its advantages here. Briefly about our workflow, the most important part is after uploading the image. Remember to click this brush. If there is no brush, right-click and select Open in Mask Editor, then paint over the area you want to modify. Click Save when done. Next here is where you enter our prompts. Here is the output of the original and upscaled images. Here you can see the image comparison. Here is our main model. Again, it is the BF16 version of Tianwen 2512, plus an acceleration LoRa and a quality improvement LoRa. Here connected is an in-painting control net model. Finally, here connects to a Seed VR2 upscale model. That is all for this episode. If you find my channel helpful to you, remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.